This video is to review the operation of the PTS-8 crimping press. An operating manual is packaged in the shipment for your review. The PTS-8 is a 230 volt single phase press and supplied with a cord to which you will need to add a plug that corresponds with the female plug in your facility. To lift and move the press from the crate to positioning it onto your bench, it is suggested that you either use a strap through the crimp head or install an eye bolt and clevis into the crimping head. Keep in mind when lifting the press that it weighs over 700 pounds. This press is designed with the Uniflex slide bearing technology and therefore does not require greasing of the tooling or press head. As the machine is a universal crimping press, it has a micrometer used for setting the final crimp diameter. The press can be used for any hose and coupling combinations recommended by the hose and coupling manufacturers. This press uses hydraulics to achieve its pressing force. It is shipped without oil in its tank. You will need to fill the tank to its appropriate level with clean hydraulic fluid of an ISO 46 viscosity rating. The press has an on off switch along with open and close buttons. It is recommended that the machine is turned off when not crimping. This will save energy and keep the hydraulic system from heating up. As previously stated this press is a universal press. To properly crimp a coupling onto a hose, a final crimp diameter needs to be determined. Many manufacturers publish this data, while others offer a formula for determining what the final crimp diameter should be. PT coupling, for instance, has an application written with an embedded formula to assist in determining the final crimp diameter by using specific measurements. Those measurements include the ID of the hose, the OD of the hose, the shank or stem OD of the coupling, the thickness of the metal of the coupling, sleeve or ferrule, and then by factoring in a compression between 15 and 25 percent, you'll reach the final crimp diameter. Please review this application or use published data from other manufacturers of couplings for the final crimp diameter. Once the final crimp di dimension is known, the selection of the correct die to use is easy. You simply choose the die that is the same or nearest to the final crimp diameter but smaller. When the final crimp diameter is more than seven millimeters larger than any die that you have, you will likely need to purchase an additional die set to properly make the assembly. If the final crimp diameter is determined to be 4.96 inches or 125.98 millimeters, then we would review the list of dies for the closest die but smaller than 125.98. In this case, it would be the PB237-121 die. The crimping dies will have their series number and size marked into them. To insert the crimping dies, we first open the press to its fully open position. <laughs> We need to close it just far enough to access the plungers in the master dies. Then, using the die tool, we place each die segment into the master dies. For the sake of time, we will demonstrate this by putting only one die segment into the crimp head. Removing the dies is done in the same fashion. Now for a second example. When the final crimp diameter is smaller than 62 millimeters, the crimping dies will be of the PB239L series. To use the dies in this series, you will need to use the adapter die set available for this machine. 
The adapter die set will be marked with 237.239.2L2 on each of the segments. They are inserted into the master dies in the same fashion as the PB237L series crimping dies were put into the press. Once that is completed, we will use the quick die change tool to insert an entire set of crimping die segments We open the press large enough to allow putting the dies into position. Then close the press onto the die pins that are aligned with the holes in the adapter dies. Once the press is com closed completely, it will stop. Remove the quick die change tool. Then open the press and the dies will now be positioned into the adapter dies and ready for crimping. In our second example, our final crimp diameter is 41 millimeters. We subtract the die size from that number to find the difference. The number is now the number we dial on the micrometer to set the machine to reach the final crimp diameter. Let's set the micrometer setting. Now we are ready to crimp a coupling onto a hose. Once the assembly is positioned properly, we push and hold the close button. The machine will move to the preset position and stop. We then push the open button and remove the hose. Once done, an assembler can check to make sure that the crimp was done correctly by measuring the crimped couplings OD to determine if it has been crimped to the targeted final crimp diameter. If the assembly does not look correct, but the measurement does match the targeted final crimp diameter, then check that the final crimp diameter is correct. Remember that they were based on the measurements taken and applied to the formula or the selection from a chart. And if they are correct, then contact the coupling manufacturer to double check the targeted final crimp diameter. If the crimped assembly doesn't measure to the targeted final crimp diameter, then double check that the correct dies were selected, that the math to determine the setting on the micrometer was done correctly, and then the micrometer was set properly. If all of this looks to be correct, but the measurement of the final crimped part does not equal the target, call Uniflex for technical assistance. Please be prepared to give Uniflex the model number and the serial number of your press. You will find this information on a 2 by 3 inch tag permanently fastened to the machine. In summary, Make sure that you have the machine properly wired. The machine is properly supported on a sturdy bench. Keep the oil level of the machine at the correct level and the oil clean. Do not grease the tool. It will give you optimum performance in life with no grease and with an occasional cleaning using strong shop vacuum or some compressed air to remove the metal flakes and debris in the tooling area. Your final crimp diameter is a critical component and you will get help in that area from the hose and coupling manufacturers. Follow the steps we have outlined and demonstrated here. Good luck and enjoy your new press.